What's going on guys, long tap no see. I am currently out of breath because I'm trying to get to the station. But today I am running a cheeky 10K. series so it's a 10k for cancer research uk and that is all courtesy of let's do this thank you guys for the spot um, let's do this is a website and they display loads of events loads of running events um, around the uk so it's a great 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 platform if you're new to running and you get some races done um, so yeah check them out but i'm gonna head down to the start line so i'll catch you guys there I've never actually done a 10k before, so this is going to be really interesting. Um, I'm just going to go with it, enjoy the scenery, and just, you know, explore London. Great way we love to, and that's to run. SIS. Well, as you don't know, I'm an ambassador for them, so this is not unfamiliar to me. Absolutely love these protein bars post run, post workout to go with my lineage. Yes, sir. So that was an unofficial 37.49. That's what I've got on my watch, but I'm not too sure what my chip will say. Um, I wanted to go, try and get as close to 35 as possible, and it was going to be a really, really hard task because I have not trained at all. <laughs> So I just went with it. Uh, conditions weren't great today, even though it was dry. It was really, really windy, as you can probably tell in the background. And it is about seven degrees, so it's quite cold. A um, few things I could have done if I do it again to prepare myself a bit better, get a proper warm up in. I didn't really warm up properly. Um, I used the race to ease into it. Um, also, try and wear a little bit more layers during the run or the early stages of the run and also have a race plan really, didn't have a race plan, went straight into it. Um, so yeah, loads of lessons to learn there really. And just like that, my whole 2022 campaign has kicked off. It is officially race season people. I wonder where I'm going to next. But first, let me give you a breakdown of the race. Let me just tuck this in, you know. But I've got to keep the blingage safe. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the race and how it all went from sign up to my personal thoughts. So, well, sign up was super, super easy. I was really fortunate to get gifted this spot by Let's Do This. So, thank you guys. And they basically gave me a code, and with that code, it just went straight through to the the race and I received my bib probably about a week later so it was really, really easy and simple so thank you guys again for that so because the race was at Charing Cross it was pretty easy to get to central London so from where I live uh, it was super super easy Got one overground train and then two underground trains and it was well signed Baggage. baggage was a bit of a walk away, which is not really understand anyway because you don't want masses to be congregating around the, the start race um, line. So it was overall pretty good, very, very organised though, I must say. They were really, really organised and really helpful. They literally took your staff, gave you a number, stuck another number on your bag, 
and then we hung it up. Um, I was literally in and out within seconds and that was dropping my stuff off and also picking it up as well. I was in the first wave so I was a bit conscious about time and didn't want to be in the pen for too long so I waited until the last possible minute to drop my bag off and then sort of headed over to the start line. So starting the race was pretty simple, pretty straightforward, as most races are in the pen. Um, I just wish I moved forward a little bit more to get a better start because I didn't realise that the course was very uh, twisty and turny. I hope you guys can still hear me because it is super, super windy, as you can probably tell from my hair. Pros and cons of the race. Let's get into it. So some of the pros, you know, really well organised. The course was really, it was really cool, really cool course with up and down hills. There was live bands, there was cheerers, there was all sorts going on as well. Running, so I was really happy about that. The cons were that, well there weren't actually many cons, that there wasn't really a water station because it's a 10k so I wouldn't really expect there to be one anyway, um, especially with the whole pandemic going on as well and usage of cups and stuff like that so that was okay didn't really that didn't really bother me too much but the main thing that did bother me was stewards and what i saw sort of towards the end was that people were crossing which i don't have an issue with but the stewards weren't really doing their jobs so people were just running across the road as runners were kind of running and as you can imagine you've already run about 8k your legs are going to be tired and running in front of you which isn't ideal so that was probably my only con you know um, another pro was that we got obviously our medal we got some water and we also got some some goodies at the end courtesy of SIS so I really really love that because I used SIS um, during my race I used the gel and it kept me going I took it out halfway so it kept me going for my other 5k and gave me an extra kick up the bum that I definitely needed Prior to running this 10k, I'd never actually done an official 10k before, so I didn't actually know what to expect. Um, so I just went into it a bit blind, um, where I kind of paid the price for that at the end. Not necessarily with my time, but with how I personally ran. I felt like I started a bit later than I should have. It took me too long to ease into the race. My warm up wasn't great. Um, so there was just a lot of things that I could possibly work on next time I do another 10k or races in the future um, depending on the weather and stuff like that so I'll take it though I'll definitely take it but throughout the race I was happy I'd have to take that I was really really happy of how I moved forward in the race I was using people as benchmarks to keep myself going and keep progressing forward and with that I'll show you my splits at some point but I've progressively got quicker and quicker and quicker towards the end um, and the downhill definitely helped me there as well. So being a young black guy in the sort of running scene is it's a new environment, you know, as simple as that sounds, but sometimes it can be quite alienating and isolating for myself because I don't really see many people that look like me at these races. Um, it's not really an issue because we're all there to run at the end of the day, but it's nice to to get a little bit of more, uh, a little bit more representation going, and that's the reason why I kind of started my running career, and I want to take people out of their comfort zone. And it was really, really cool to to bump into some familiar faces um, more than running. And black girls do run, and I know they've been out and about for for a while. And to see them and to bump into them, have a chat, is really inspiring. Um, that people actually look like me, and they're they're still running, they're enjoying it and there's no stress so big up you guys i know there's a lot more crews um, out there that are doing great things great great things not just for representation diversity um but you know for the various communities and various reasons so big up you guys as well so what is on the cards for me for the rest of the day i'm going to eat until my heart's content and i'm going to chill out um i'm going to do a little stretch but body feels pretty good pretty pretty good so back to the drawing board tomorrow i want to get some serious training done now i haven't actually trained properly um 
for this race or at least since the start of the year so it's time for me to get a good little block of training in um, and hopefully get some marathons in I want to go for London but I also want to do a few half marathons and a few longer events to really push myself this year 2022 is going to be super super interesting so you guys make sure keep an eye out on my journey make sure you follow my socials and keep up to date with everything going on take care peace and love